Tonight we continue to follow sexual assault accusations from a former Norfolk State University football player. He says he was sexually assaulted and hazed by former teammates. News 3 reporter Kelsey Jones joins us now. And Kelsey, you spoke with an expert tonight who says these allegations are more common than you think. That's right, Kurt. Sean Fahey, the former NSU student athlete and his lawyer sat down for a press conference today. His lawyer says she believes this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to sexual assault and hazing in football. Sean Fahey, a Virginia Beach native and Ocean Lakes High School grad, says he reached his breaking point. I worried about having to defend myself physically from players who already had assaulted me. Uh, the bottom line was I feared for my safety. Overall, I talked to a psychotherapist who says for men who are victims of sexual assault, shame and stigma make coming forward complicated. They are socialized to be tough, to endure, and to remain quiet. Whenever these incidents occurred, I try to brush them off because it's not typical for guys to have to talk about this kind of stuff. According to research from National Sexual Violence Resource Center, 43% of men reported experiencing some form of sexual harassment or sexual assault in their lifetime. However, Williams says she believes that number is higher. Males that are victims of sexual assault need to be encouraged to speak up, to use their voice, to open up about the experience, the same as we've encouraged women. Attorney Diane Toscano said the harassment included allowing players to grab others' genitals in front of coaches and claims their evidence of more shocking behaviors. One video recording that we have depicts this on a bed while others watched. Toscano added that Norfolk State has been aware of the issues for nearly a year and is asking for witnesses to come forward in the case. Dr. Williams says press conferences like the one today are a good first step to seeking answers. It's important for men to have that shared experience with other survivors so that they can get strengthened and they can feel more supported. Leaving Fahey now anxious about his future, he shares a message to others in his shoes. There's nothing more important than your self-worth. And if you see something like this happen to others, please speak up. Now, NSU is aware of the accusations and released a end sta statement saying in part, quote, NSU cares about the safety and well-being of every student, faculty and staff member. We have a culture of care at the institution and we will work diligently to address the needs of our community. And we have the full statement from the school on our website at WTKR.com. I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.